Hello everyone, Rissy Toothpick here, back again with some more Sherlock Holmes Chapter 1, and today we're going to search the Yacht Club again. The last time we uh, searched an archaeologist dig and we found everything, we learned a little bit more about the case itself. And now, like I said, we're going to kind of search this uh, area again because it seems we are actually missing something. So, and more specifically, we're missing something in the workshop, apparently. But we'll go see if we can find something. Maybe something in his, uh, his room in here. Bloodied bandages. Looks like we pretty much found everything in here. Three of three. Too ordinary a room for a champion. There's no incentive to put in any effort. That is weird. Maybe he had another room somewhere? We might need to find someone who maybe knows a little bit more about what was going on. Navigate and warn others at sea. Can we find anything else in here? Okay, a book. Oh, we found another book. Sails of hatred. I suppose there is something for everyone, including champions. Who knew archaeology could be so exciting? Exciting is certainly a word. And I bet you there's another one of those books somewhere hidden in the archaeological dig site. We can become pirates and show them what should be stored in here. Okay, nothing really else, though. Let's see, is there anything else? Let's go back into Whirlpool. looked at everything in here he tells us this is too boring to be like a workshop or to be his like winning area maybe it is Let's see if we can get into the yacht club maybe Like, I, there's got to be a way inside this building. May I ask you something? I can't help you with that, sir. Okay. Oh. Yeah, I just accidentally run into people. Is there a way inside this building? Not that I can see. This is a weird building, that's for sure. Maybe there's like a way in the front. go all the way over here not really let's go back over here may I ask you something I can't help you with that sir interesting maybe there's a boat or something There's either some place where we need to go, or maybe, like I said, maybe his uh, daughter knows something. So we're kind of lost here. I'm not for sure what we're missing. So when in doubt, go talk to his daughter. Maybe she has something to say about the note. That'd be kind of like my best bet.
At least she might kind of like tell us where he might be. I think she was in here. Have you seen what your father sent to Paul? This is despicable. My father was never a gentleman, but this crosses the line. I knew that father wasn't fond of Paul, but this... This is just awful. If only he could have seen how good Paul he is to me. How good is he, though? I don't have any thoughts on this. I have nothing to say about this. I don't have any thoughts on this. And we're going to go through everything because it just makes it easy. I don't have any thoughts on this. I don't have any thoughts on this. And she shouldn't have I'm anything. I'm afraid I can't add anything useful. I have nothing to say about this. But this stuff right here. I have nothing to say about this. Are you aware that Paul smuggles drugs for a dangerous gang? Mr. Holmes, I've already told you. I call him a pirate in play. He's not an actual pirate. He's a champion and a brave gentleman, not a thug. Let us agree to disagree on that. But don't be surprised if one of his clients knocks on your door. It's chilling to think the monster is free. Okay, that's it from her. Fresh leaves for our tea party. If you have any questions, the boys will keep will be keeping an eye on you at the race. Interesting. The boys will be keeping an eye on you on the race. We look at this. Let me see. This would be good for criminal stuff. If it is a criminal, maybe we can talk to him about this. But if it is a criminals. Just don't really know where it would be. Something else I really want to do is go back up here. And uh, see if we can find that book somewhere hidden. Because I think the book is going to be in the, um, the archaeological dig. And let's see if we can actually find it. It's It should be somewhere easy, relatively easy to find. So, we'll see. Stop shirking. Get dressed properly and come inside. Uh, of course. I'm glad we were dressed correctly, though. Stop. Okay, so let me look. We can find what we're looking for here. It's more likely going to be hidden somewhere, like, right in here. I am looking. Looks like not really. Let me just kind of check around here. It's a little side story, so it's going to be like hidden about. This is it. Sharpest pickaxe. <laughs> the guilty pleasure of the real archaeologist. Missing your Laura, Mr. Swift? Hey, a word about the trilogy. Right then, you literary expert. You, what was so important about these books? Or did you simply need some kindling? It's inspirational. I have a plan. Are you listening? I wish I wasn't, but I am. So, we catch a monkey, a langa, for example, then we extract some blood from it. What? Why? It will make us forever young, Sherry. Page 127 of the second book. Oh, I am so done with this. No, wait. Then how about we make a wax statue? I've stopped listening, John. Okay, so we got that, though. Let's go. At least we finished his like little side quest. And yeah, the only thing left is apparently there's something in the yacht club we're missing, and there's uh, something on this note we gotta find. And we got everything there, which is great.
I'll be keeping an eye on you at the race. Let's see, I'm thinking we have to be a criminal. Or we have to, like, dress like a criminal. But with that done, now we don't have to come back here. I say, I knew, you know, once I found that book in the workshop, I knew the other one would be here. Let's go with the gangster. And let's go back over here. And to be honest, we're a suspicious note found on one of the bedding slips in the Whirlpool room. I kind of wanted to explore this uh, Palacio del Luso. I feel like if there was going to be like a wealthy criminal gang, they might be there. I guess it's this thing right here. And we definitely can't get in there. There's some cops there. We're kind of looking like the gangster type, so... Definitely not going to like that. This is where we were earlier. Interesting. Can you satisfy my curiosity? Pull yourself out of the gutter, then we'll see. Excuse me, just one question. I would never deny you, sir, but I know nothing about this. Everyone's looking at us, Sheriff. You sure you know what you're doing? Can I ask you a question? Uh, d don't take it personally, sir. Uh, but I know nothing about this. Interesting. Are you able to help me? I don't think I'm rich enough to talk to you, sir. Oh, my. Hold on, hold on. Can I ask you a question? Else. Sounds familiar, but no. Ask someone else. Sounds familiar. And we can't go in here. Can you satisfy my curiosity? How dare you address me? Time to check your who, what. Yeah, and of course we can't be like this poor guy, so. And what, Sherry? Who are you May I ask you something? About what I can't as help what? you with that, sir. Okay. So yeah, so pretty much if you want to talk to someone who's like in the working class, you got to look like the working class. If someone who's rich, you got to look rich and so on and so forth. But I want to kind of go in there as the gang guy because we might see something there. You're saying something about we'll be watching you while you race. Excuse me, just one question. Sorry, I have no time for your problems. Come back over here. Help me, please. I don't talk to ruffians. Sorry. Everyone's looking at us, Chef. Yeah, so we don't blend in. Go with this you one. You should know what you're doing. Help me, please. I can't help you with that, sir. Interesting. Let's talk to these guys. Can you satisfy my curiosity? I can't help you with that, sir. Everyone's looking at us, Sheriff. You sure you know what you're doing? Everyone's looking at us, so this is actually looking like the wrong thing to wear. Can I ask you a question? Sorry, officer. You should ask someone else about that. Okay, now we have the officer thing on. May I ask for your assistance? Sorry, officer, you should ask someone else about that. Time to check your who, what, and what, Sherry. Who are you asking? Still not the right thing, huh?
not the gang one. Maybe it's we maybe we need like a sailor sailor soldier outfit. And dressed as well. I bet you that's what we need here is a sailor's outfit. So let's see if we can find the a clothing person somewhere. Can you satisfy my curiosity? Oh, I don't know about that. Ask one of the others. What is this right here? Is this a clothing store? Simply the best garments of the finest clothes for the finest citizens. Alright, give me something for sailors. Looks like there's like, okay, there's something right here. Sellers uniform. I want to buy that. Choice. So now with the sailor's uniform, we might be able to understand a little bit more about what's going on here. Excuse me, just one question. Sorry, mate. I've no idea. I'm going to just smack that guy. Talk to these guys. Is this familiar to you? Sorry, mate. I've no idea. You obviously haven't thought this all through. Or are you just annoying these people on purpose? Okay, let me see if there's more to this room. Because we're pretty much like stuck right in here. There has to be something of value. There's the whirlpool right there. I don't know why he's laying there floating. Nothing over here. He's up on top of this thing. Is there anything around there that we're missing? Not really. This is a bad day. Let's talk to this guy. Can you satisfy my curiosity? You better ask someone else about that. That's a different, you know, conversation though. Okay, let me look here. So, what we're missing is she doesn't believe that he could have done something, and we really just don't know who we need to talk to to, like, get us further into this thing. Okay, so let's go back. We got to be missing something in here. Like this is, you know, this is the key. So if we go back in here. Let's go in his whirlpool. Bloodied bandages. Okay. I say I think we're missing something in here. Too ordinary a room for a champion. There's no incentive to put in any effort. There's something here we're missing. Bloodied bandages.
See nothing there. Okay, we done his we found his letter. Found all that. Go into storage. Oh, here we go. This took forever. Undeniably psychotropes. Not a toothache, I think. Undeniably psychotropes. Not a toothache, I think. We were looking for this box of drugs for like the longest time, I think. Is there anything else in here? Not really. Not really anything else in here. I mean, it took us a long time to find them drugs. Too ordinary a room for a champion. There's no incentive to put in any effort. Let's see, so we found them drugs. Looks like there might be some more to this thing. A typical tea tin. I wonder what he has for biscuits. Okay, so now we got it. Yep. Hands off my possessions before you lose your fingers. Are you illiterate? The rules are written everywhere. Ah, Mr. Perks, the cabin boy himself. Champion, you mean. I was right. You are illiterate. I think a couple of shiners might teach you. One last chance. Who are you? Mr. Gildens or Emojins? Hmm, let's go with the, um, if we do emojis, he'll, she will probably have, like, a better relationship with us, but Mr. Gildens, yeah. I am a friend of Theodore Gilden. My name is Sherlock Holmes. I need a few words from you about... Get out of here. I'm not joking. Leave this place before you have cause to regret it. I will use force. Do the police still throw people in prison for smuggling? Oh, yes. With you helpless and handcuffed, I'd learn a few more secrets. We don't need to compete with our egos now, surely. Oh, no. I'd rather you tell me something more, so that I might have more reasons to punch you out. Okay, let's observe. Female, smooth Adam's apple. Yep. It's something hard. Bandaged arm, payback, or accident. Yeah, develop female body. We already know it's a professional smuggler. So, a woman wishes to become a real criminal, and smuggling is a stepping stone towards that? Is there not enough prestige in yachting? Or... Is it easier to compete with other fools like yourself? Everyone has a starting pistol. Just shoot and run. Don't say a word. I don't know where you're getting half of this nonsense, but you're on some thin ice here that I'm willing to crack. Damn you, Paul. I'm sick of... Who's this peacock? Does he know who I am? I definitely know who you are not. You're not a dictionary reader, at least. I wanted to see how you... Pals interact with each other in your natural habitat. Yeah, there's quite a few of them. But I'm afraid I have to interfere. All right, so now we're going to get in some fighting action. I'm coming for you. 
Come on. Okay. And get that guy. Get this guy. I'm coming for you. And avoid the the fire. This guy's coming for us. Okay. Got rid of him. Oh, fighting in this game is not cry, terrible. It won't work this way. Oh. I couldn't miss the party. I'll put you six feet under. Damn, this guy's pretty strong. I'm coming for you. There we go. That's what I was trying to get the first time. The snuff's ready. Don't bother moving. Oh, we got the snuff. Give him the pepper snuff. Okay, is there another enemy somewhere? Oh, yes, there is. God damn, did I get him at least? Nope. Can overcome the brute now. We are weak. I'm gonna hurt you. There's something on the side there. We can use the, uh, the like powder here to our advantage. Time to knock this. No, you killed oh, him. I killed him. Missed the, sh the, the hat. It won't work this way. We got rid of the gun, I think. I couldn't miss the party. No, we didn't. He's got something on the side there. Nope. Missed. Ooh. Come on. Nope. Nope. Get it. Get it. Oh, you asshole. There we go. Don't cry. You'll live. More of them? Damn. We're at right there. I can overcome the brute now. Oh, screw this guy. I'm coming for you. This is keep on coming. We are so low on health. Wow. The snuff's. I couldn't miss the fire. Snuff's ready. Oh, I went the wrong direction. Get that guy. I'm coming. Hit him in the my friend. thing there. I think we can also hit these lights. And those work pretty good. Too simple. Alright. Who else? I think we got them all. That was for a lot of fighting right there. And there's no reward for risking our lives. Paul's explanation will suffice. Okay, so now I'm assuming she's in her room. Your fellow mariners have a strange way of showing hospitality. They were not my friends. Are you sure? I would rather risk my neck for someone who's at least honest and thankful. Perhaps then don't enter someone's life and be so judgmental, pretending you're better than they are. Then give me your perspective and allow me to see through your eyes. What were you doing this morning, Miss Perks? Don't call me that. I'm a champion. I was sailing. The other club members told me that you missed the race this morning. Do champions not need to practice? Ugh, you've talked with them already. No, I wasn't racing. I visited the doctor after that attack on me. And then I had to honor the deal with the bandits you just took care of. I tried to tell you before, but your partners interrupted. Have you heard the news? Theodore Gildon is dead. Do you have anything to say? Well, what a shock. To me, he was an angry old ogre. Good riddance. Was it Goliath that killed him? Did it crush him? Break his bones? Come on, tell me. I want all the details. You have an unusual way of showing grief. Imogen wouldn't appreciate that. But yes, the animal could have been involved. It's poetic in a way, isn't it? It takes a beast to kill a monster. I wish I could have been that elephant. Mm. 
You're asking for trouble with this smuggling business. You'd better leave it before they smuggle you out in a barrel. Don't patronize me. I've only ever had trouble with law-abiding citizens like Gildan and you. Never bandits. So ask me anything you want, and then get out of my sight. Alrighty, so let's provide some evidence. I'm clueless. I don't know what you're suggesting. You smuggle illicit psychotropes on your yacht. Not a delivery for the hospital, I'm sure. Of course not. I've had to cut corners to earn some money. How might a person afford to pay for a yacht in an honest way? I don't know, although I'm smart. The buyers are my customers. Adults who are willing to pay for their pleasure, or weapons for jewels. Whatever they want me to deliver. Nothing criminal. Well, it's your lucky day. I'm not here because of smuggling. Have you tasted this tea yourself? I wouldn't have been a champion if I had used it. It's just a side business that keeps my career afloat. It's quite expensive to compete in yachting. Sometimes I cut corners. Such as fixing Whirlpool yourself? Exactly. And sometimes I just have to pay. That's how I earn money. I don't sell slaves or take the last mangir from a poor family. Okay. So we did the suspicious note. It seems as though Theodore Gildon hung a sword of Damocles over your life and career. Were these only words or something more serious? <sighs> Check my forearm. Pulled muscles and bruises. Small cuts. Nothing that you could call serious. I doubt that a man in his late fifties could wrestle you. It wasn't him. He behaved like a rat and hired brutes. His boys tried to lock my hands behind my back, but I was faster and I escaped. Was he so protective of his daughter, or was it your feminine secret that provoked him? My guess is that he was protecting his property. As he saw it, he owned Imogen, and he treated her like a piece of furniture. He didn't want his daughter to be loved by anyone. What's more painful is that Theodore didn't allow me to love his daughter. Typical. I'm not sure that your relationship with Imogen could be described as typical. Are you afraid of a woman in trousers? Now that's typical of men. And let's just clarify something. During this time period, uh, women couldn't be men. <laughs> like this whole thing, her with someone else, it wouldn't have happened. Like this probably wouldn't even have occurred because it was just so badly looked at. What can you tell me about the elephant? He's smarter than some people here, including his owner. Although I feel he could be dangerous, no matter how much he's fed. Why is that? Have you ever seen Goliath attack anyone? Well, not exactly. But I saw it, uh, abusing some poor tree during one of its walks with Theodore. The expression on that old ninny's face was priceless. But it wasn't funny to look at. Believe me. It was frightening. Okay. Does this knife seem familiar? I didn't find it in your competitor's back, to be clear. This knife is as blunt as your humor. It's a boson's knife, but it's not mine. I wouldn't be so careless as to mislay my tools. Okay, a bosom knife. A. Swift. Are you familiar with this name? The gentleman had business with Mr. Gildan. Likely just another strange and wrinkled fellow like old Gildan was. Perhaps this swift person has a rhino, and they wanted to see which pet was stronger. In other words, I don't know who he is, but I bet he's crazy like Theodore. I doubt that court owner has ever boasted a battle arena for that size of mammal. You have an interesting imagination. Okay. I'm clueless. I'm clueless. I don't know what this means. I don't know what this means. These are all authors, so nothing there. Look what I found. A box full of darts. Hey, that's mine. I confiscated it. These darts appear to be filled with something. Poison? How powerful is it? It's strychnine. Enough to instantly kill a small rodent. I haven't tried it on a human yet. I hope you know what you're doing. Could it immobilize a larger animal, say, an elephant? I've never tried, but I have wondered. Interesting. I don't know what you're suggesting. Okay, we'll just get through all these. I don't know what this means. I don't know what this means. I don't know what this means. I'm clueless. I don't know what you're suggesting. I don't know what you're suggesting. Imogen doesn't strike me as an industrious young lady, so I find it strange that she was busy packing up all her belongings when Mr. Gildan died. 
That's some um, favorable wind in your sails, isn't it? Is it so suspicious that a couple might embark on a trip? I wanted to thank her, so we planned to go traveling. A Theodore-free place without elephants. The timing of it is suspicious, however. Your lady friend becomes an orphan and heir, and there's a planned trip directly afterwards. An improvised romantic dinner will never please a spoiled girl. A planned voyage might. It's not spur of the moment. Uh-huh. A charming picture. I've heard that champions do often pose with their trophies. Cheeky. It is a lovely trophy, though. I'm sure you will agree. What is it that you like most about her? Her naivety? Her father's money? A somewhat difficult choice. Especially now that her father is out of the equation. Okay, and I think that's all of them. I'm clueless. Between yachts, darts, and notes from bandits, I've discovered many fascinating facts about you. But this, an installment of Nabe and Laura's adventures, why did you sully your library with this? It's a gift from Imogen. I didn't buy it. I might have turned a couple of pages, but nothing more. I swear. I will give you the benefit of the doubt, but your literary taste has put you on my blacklist. Okay, so now we're done with that. We got some more for the mind space here. Okay. Goliath is dangerous right now, but may prove valuable to the case. I need to lure him out by exploiting his lust. Okay. Theodore attempts to destroy Paul. Theodore Gilden has highly motivated to destroy Paul's career and well-being, even going as so far as to hire criminals. Paul may have fallen on the shed. Paul's elbow injury may have been sustained by falling on Theodore Gilden's shed. What's that over here? I don't really know about that yet. We really just gotta get into the discussion with the the elephant. Done with that one. We need to hunt for Goliath. Looks like we need to do some chemical things. Three, negative five, and four. So we definitely have to put this over here. Maybe something like that. And then we need to link these. Okay, so it looks like we need two of these, unfortunately. Only one though, interesting. So can we realistically link these two maybe? Let me reset. So we know for a fact there's a three. There's a negative five and a four. We can't link those together. How can we get that five involved though? May we do something like this? Yes, all right, perfect. That was a little weird, but we got it.
Okay, so we got that. And we might want to get that uh, foghorn. Apparently this foghorn might be convenient. It might fool an elephant. Perfect. Okay, so the elephant Goliath was present for Mr. Gildan's death and may hold answers to how it happened. He is presently in heat, which I can take advantage of to lure him out. I have an idea of how to do just that, but we'll need several items. Sturdy gave gray fabric that can hold gas, an instrument to mimic an elephant and a strong scent. So, we definitely have to go and back to the archaeological site and get some goodies, some fabric meaning we need a different wardrobe here because we need to get some fabric. And then once we do that, we should have everything to hunt the, the elephant. And we'll do that in the next episode because we've already passed the 40 minute mark. So we want to kind of start ending this episode, which will end it by getting that fabric. Hopefully it's relatively easy to find. It should. Stop loitering. Yeah, guy doesn't want me loitering around. I think it's on the, uh, it's right next to this guy's uh, tent. It's like right over here in the corner. Yeah, I think it's this right here. This fabric will work. Mrs. Nini seemed to know us sewing inside out. Uh, I bet she missed us. I hope Miss Nini won't misunderstand me. All right, so Miss Nini works at the intersection of Night Road and Trinity Way. She's the old lady that we helped with the, uh, the criminal who uh, stole from her. And she's somewhere over here, I think. Let's see if we can find her again. Knight's Road. Where was she again? I thought they would give us like the little exclamation mark. But not. Let me look for it then. It was kind of close to the the police, so it's like Knight's Road. It's somewhere over here. In Trinity Way. Knight's Road in Trinity Way. Knight's Road. Okay, it's like right here. I'll say if I remember correctly, we just turn like right here and it's to the left. Good day, madam. I've come to you with a special requirement. The tailors on the street can't help me, I'm afraid. Could you make a doll for me? Oh, Signor Holmes, you taught the police how to do their job and they found the thief. Of course I will help you. But what sort of doll? A child's doll, such as my great niece might play with? Um, a little larger than your typical doll. Signore, I don't understand. Boy, girl, animal, and what color? Animal, um, a passionate, perhaps amorous animal. Ah, oh, Signore, you talk in readers. I am an old lady who's seen it all. Tell me what you need. I need a life-size elephant. I think Mrs. Nini outdid herself with this one. Is that a tail? That's a trunk, John, but I must agree with you that it's a masterpiece. Well, let's not waste any time. Alrighty. So now we have what we needed. We got everything, right? I'm assuming. We don't need to, like, talk to her anymore. Let me go to the casebook. Now I have all I need. I should visit Miss Nini at the intersection of night. Okay, so now we need to go back to Gildan's yard. We're going to inflate it. So I'm going to fast travel. But, like I said, we already passed the 45 minute mark. We're going to stop here today. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Check out the links below. In the next one, we'll fill up the elephant with gas. And we'll try to lure out the real live elephant.